Welcome back to my channel where we are all angels. To become one of Cherisee's angels, subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification updates on my lifestyle, my beauty, my passion for fashion, and of course more. Stay tuned and follow all of my social media accounts in the description box below and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share and give a big thumbs up to show your love and support. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy my channel. So without further ado, let's get into it. Cheersy. What's the deal? Welcome back to another video. And if you can't already tell by the title, we are making a new wig. Beginner friendly, make your own wig. Okay. And this is something that I have been contemplating on doing for a while now as well as contemplating on recording and sharing this new method because 2021 really 2022 this is really about to be like the new way the new wave the new way and the new wave <laughs> because y'all i have had it up to here with this type of hair, I can't put up with the shit no more. Like, it's just, it's just a no for me. Like, I don't know what it is about this hair, but it is very processed. And I hate it. I absolutely hate how oily it gets. I hate how stringy it gets. I hate how it's, how, um, how much it shreds. I hate everything you could possibly hate about this hair. I hate it. I just don't, I don't like it. And I don't know if it's because I'm buying straight hair. Cause back in the day, I used to only wear body wave and that used to do me really justice. Like Brazilian body wave used to, it was just like human hair. The only, like it was real humidified in the summertime. It's the only reason why I didn't like it. Cause it really acted like human hair. But then at the same time, I didn't like it because it never straightened, but like with, seeing like the new era of how to straighten hair and like really silk press i feel like i could go back to that but at the same time i would still be annoyed because i just don't like this type of hair it don't last like it just irritates me so without yeah so without further ado let's get into my new method which is well before i even get into that let's just say this one thing this is the new era that everybody's doing and it's 2021 mind you i've been doing this since before I graduated, which was high school, which was 2015, is dyeing your natural brown hair jet black to give it that clean, just that clean look, like that that mommy look, like that mama Sita, like you that bitch, like you just look put together. Well, I've been doing that, and I had I've been doing that, and I stopped doing that for a while because I was like, <laughs> I got lazy because, oh, I stopped doing that because I didn't like the process of washing and drying this hair when it was fresh, fresh hair, because the texture would change completely. It's not as flowy. It's just do, it's just, it don't dry all the way. I just stopped doing that whole process. I'm like, I'll take, I'll take the natural brown look and then put a filter on it. My black point filter and have that shit look black jacket another secret i just told you guys so yeah let me show a quick example of the type of wig i like hold on let me brush this out so i made this closure wig this royal blue closure wig with the water coloring method Oh, when I used to color my hair, I used to actually like bleach and do all that. And no, that takes too long. I love how we got this watercolor method because it's just amazing. So you see how simple that was to comb this out? You see how flowy this is? You see how silky this is? And it ain't even straight, but it's straight. 
you see how soft it is you see how it looks like natural hair oh you like that it's, and then it's like bright brown on the front I mean brown bright blue on the inside like that electric blue on the inside really blue now yeah I know my colors baby but um this is the type of hair I like regardless of what grade I'm not gonna say regardless of what grade but like every what regardless of what company hair sold it um like when you're at the store or whatever wherever you're buying this hair from I like Russian blonde hair the texture so much better and I'm really afraid to sh like share this information because I'm really about to be that bitch. <laughs> like, ah, like every time I color hair, it looks like natural. It, look it looks natural. Like when I say natural, like white people natural. Like you know how when the white girls color their hair and it looks like this, and you notice their hair, they just colored it. They going through a phase. Yeah, that's what this should look like. This shit don't look like this. This shit look like, okay, yeah, that's weed. That's not her real hair. Like, I don't like that. So, what we're doing is the new method. Okay? I'm not going to wear colored hair anymore because I am trying to grow out of that. Um, I'm growing out of that. Um, I'm going to wear my colored wigs for however long they last, but... Once I'm done with all my outfits that match it, I'm done with the color wigs. Like, yep. And if I do wear color hair 25 and up, I'm not 25, but 25 and up, it's going to be like really soft pastel colors. Because I just feel like, what are you doing like 30 and up wearing color hair? Just, it don't make sense. So I'm trying to be like naturally beautiful all the time. And I feel like this is not, this is not naturally beautiful. This looks like, I don't do shit to my my hair and I look like the hairstylist who don't do shit to her hair but you make everybody else shit look cold and your hair ain't never done I never understood that and if you do have a hairstylist like that and they bald headed you should probably stop going to them because how can they grow your hair out and they can't even grow their hair out it don't make no fucking sense to me I ain't doing it like everybody you can't have every you can't you do kind of have to be a loyal customer because you cannot chair hop chair hop when it comes to your hair not just because of the person but because of your hair like everybody braids different and everybody does everybody does everything different so it's like nah you can't do that on my head so anywho let's get into this i have right here a 16 inch russian blind bundle and a 18 inch it looks amazing and then I have a 14 inch um, lace front. So let's pull the 18 out. And see this, oh, and this is another thing. When you're like feeling for good hair, we all be going to the hair store and be like, oh, let's see how I feel. You know, they be telling you, this is not how you feel for good hair. This is how you feel good hair. That's how you feel good hair. This is not how you feel good hair. This is how you know. I'm sorry. I be in the hair store. They know me. I be in the hair store like every day, y'all. <laughs> I can't help it. But anyway, this is good hair. Like, this don't, this will never look like this. It's never gonna it's never gonna be in this state like you see this it's never gonna be in this state so guess what I'm gonna do we're gonna dye it jet black I'm going to use Russian blonde hair for my natural jet black look for the rest of my life I'm done with this shit <laughs> and mind you I definitely do want to start selling hair and it has me thinking do I want to sell this hair? Do I even want to go through hair vendors looking for this type of hair? No, I do not. I'm about to switch the whole game up, period. And if somebody switched it up for me, just come back to this video. You know who the originator is, okay? Charity, all the way. So, I got my, um, I got my bundles. I got my Adore Jet Black 121 Shining Semi-Permanent Hair Color Coloration. I got my bowl, which you can tell has been used. Got my cap. 
Got this from your local Walmart. My elastic band. I got my threads. Just got a new one. Black, blonde, cream, brown. You never know what, what you could be creating. Got my my needles. My thread, my needle, my whatever they call it. And I got my head right here. My blue head. So I will see you guys when I boil this hot water and start coloring this hair. And we're gonna get right into this video. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all, I got my hot pipe and boiling water. Yeah, just came off the stove. So this is the type of pot you want to boil it in. I got my mittens right here because, girl, it's too much. Oh, I probably still need my mittens. Because now I need to pour this hot boiling water into my coloring bowl. Oh, like you did. Uh, just pray I don't get this all over the place. Is it going in the bowl? Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Is it going in the bowl? I don't feel like it. Oh, my finger getting hot. It's so hot. I don't be knowing how much water to use. Sometimes I be feel like I be using too much. And in this case, I'm gonna feel like I'm using too much. Keep that hot water for when I need to use some more. And put these ones on. Let's get ready to color now. Um, I am in the, still trying to debate. No, you don't want to color the hair with these on it because I did that with the purple hair and um. I had to recolor again just to get the the tracks but i don't like taking this off because i don't like it getting tangled when i color but we'll see we'll see how i'm feeling from my door i've never done watercolor black but i mean it literally makes so much sense Cause I'm not about to go through and brush every hair strand to get black. And this is jet black. Not your other blacks. Okay, I'm gonna let the rest of this come down. Going with my second one. Oh my god, I don't have my I can't find my my hairbrush thing. Oh, I just I can't find it. You know the brush that goes with this. I can't I can't find it. It's frustrating me. So I guess I'll use a comb. This is a dirty comb. I use a black comb because I just what the hell what am I supposed to do? I hope this don't melt it. This water is boiling hot. Oh my god, you see that? It's getting black. After this install, y'all, which is gonna be uh, the second part of the video, I'm gonna show you guys how to melt and melted lace install. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay. Oh, here we go. I'm scared. I'm gonna take these off because I really don't want to go through that like I did the first time. 
I'm gonna still keep it in this state though. I don't know, I just don't like taking it out of this state, but it, I, in the end I always have to anyway, so it's like, I might as well. I just don't like, I just love this state. I don't like taking it out of this state. It bothers me, but I have to. Because I don't want to ruin it, but I don't want it to get tangled when it's wet. I should have did this before, huh? It's cool, we're almost there. This is the 18 inch. Oh, I'm about to put it in there. Oh, we gotta do this too. And this is the 16 inch. Little quick detangle action right there. 16 inch. Put my gloves back on. Oh, put more of this in here. I did not do that. I gotta make sure this is jet black. I don't want no patches, no uneven color, discolorization. I don't want none of that. I need this to be perfect. Perfect. Just the perfect combination. Let's stir this a little bit more. I just put the second bottle in there. I bought a third bottle just in case it's not as jet black as I want it. And because every hair store is literally selling out of jet black hair color because it's just so in po popular and in trend right now. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. Y'all see that? Oh my God. That shit just, it, it's, jet, it's jet black, all right. Make sure it get all the way jet black because I do not want no green color, blue color, faded looking hair. Hell no. And that's why I did this instead. I definitely could have put jet black on that blue, but I'm not doing that. All right, here goes the 16 inch going in. Oh my God, look at that, y'all. That ain't nothing but a second. Look at that. Oh my God. Yo. I'm a fucking genius. I don't care who already thought of this. I ain't seen not one title. So. I'm the freaking genius here. I'm the genius. I win. You lose. No, I'm kidding. Okay, hold on. Okay, y'all. Now, I always do make this mistake. Uh, I'm not liking this. Getting everywhere. I always make the mistake of coloring my lace front before I bleach it. And it usually turns out actually looking better than normal. Like, it looks really natural when I have colored hair and then I put the bleach on top of it. It just, it gives it an actual, like, a natural looking look. And in this case, I'm going to do the same thing. I didn't want to, but... It's not a transparent lace, so I'm not going to mess the lace up. It's going to need to be bleached anyways. And then it's going to be jet black. So I might as well bleach it after. Exactly. You feel me? All right. As long as, oh damn, as long as you understand me, I think that's all that matters. Now let me go this way. Let's put this. Oh my God. You see that? Oh, that is scary, y'all. Look at that. Oh, my God. Okay, see, now that need to get black. Because it's always the top that don't want to take in that moisture. And I don't be understanding that. But, I mean, it's nothing wrong with that. Because, nah. 
it's nothing wrong with that when it's like pink or like different colors but like yeah i'm gonna bleach it so you know what it's cool it's cool I'll, I'll bleach the whole thing the makeup is gonna make it look right it's gonna be good but it's not taking on like i wanted to so i mean it is but already i can tell it's not i don't know i can't keep doing this because this water is like really fucking hot excuse my language but yeah you guys so this is the second step really the first step <laughs> um the first this is my second step my first step is laying everything out making sure i have everything besides my comb that i currently don't have a uh, second step and then boiling the water so now that the water has been boiled we're gonna let this sit sit for probably i don't know the like the normal time you guys are used to hearing but i need my i need it to come out right so probably under an hour <laughs> or at least I'm gonna let this sit until the water get cold, honestly. So, yeah. And then after that, see, check on it, see where I'm at with the color, add more or not. And then um, I'm gonna start blow drying and start putting it in the hair, which will probably be tomorrow. So, believe it or not. I will see you guys tomorrow um, to start. Uh, I'm in the freaking hair, so yeah, bye. What's up, Cherisee Bangles? Welcome back to the next part of this video where I will be uh shampooing and condition conditioning the hair after I colored it and rinsing it. So let me just update you guys. We last left off on me coloring the hair, it's still like dripping wet because in in the middle of the night I rinsed it and like I told you this part came out kind of grayish so I um colored it again put it in hot water and colored it again let it sit overnight you see that it already looked like natural and then when I bleach it and makeup it's gonna look so on point it's gonna be transparent at that point because it was not even looking like that when I first had it. So I tinted it a little. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. And, and I'm shampooing. I'm, I'm gonna use this only because it's shampoo and conditioner and I wanna clean it out and I wanna condition it and it's, yeah, less harsh chemicals. So yeah, let's get into it. God, this smells so good. It really smells like strawberries and bananas. It just smells so good. I don't know if you can see the black rinsing out, but it's rinsing. Make sure it doesn't get detangled. Put the rest of the shampoo and conditioner out. Do you see that perfect jet black? Boom. Next bundle. I'm going to rinse it out a little more, but just to show you guys. And then after I'm done rinsing, I'm going to let it air dry as well as blow dry. Because it's so 
wet right now. I'm not trying to blow dry this for hours. I'm going to let it air dry. And then I'm going to blow dry it. The rest. Cause I, like I told y'all, like, I've had problems when I wash my hair. It doesn't dry all the way. And then it doesn't straighten and perform like I want it to. Because of whatever shampoo or conditioner I use. So, like, you definitely have to find the right shampoo and conditioner for the weave. The right blow dry. You really have to have everything, like, on point if you want really good arrogant arrogant table bones. Uh, let's be real. But this is on a whole nother level. So y'all. You know this water is so hot. It's about to be hotter too. Alright, last one though. Pretty sure this is the 18 inch that I'm going to wash and rinse. You see how nicely it just, just goes through that? Because it's good hair. I'm never going to have that problem like I was telling you guys at the beginning of the video. And if I do, I will let you know. And I'll figure out a different method. But I honestly think this is my new best bet. Because Brazilian hair or whatever, that type of hair, I just can't do that. It's too processed for me. Just the color of jet black anyway. Alright, so once I'm done with this, I'm gonna show you guys how I lay it out to air dry and then I'm gonna blow dry. And we're gonna get back into it. Thanks for watching, stay tuned. Alright, welcome back to the next part of this video. As you can see, I have everything laid out. I laid out my bundle 16 and 18 inch right here, combed them out. Like this. So I can just look nice and neat, get a good, good dry. Got my blow dryer, which I'm gonna let it air dry as well as prop my blow dryer up so it can do the work and I can do other things. So while that air dries, I'm going to mix this so I can bleach the lace front. And let that do its job while my hair dries. And you know what I'm saying? Kill two birds, one stone, period. So right now I have the BW2 and a 40 volume cream developer. You can get 20, 30, 50, whichever one you prefer your preference. Um, if you wanna comment down below and tell me which one works better, please do so. And also comment below which um what shampoo and conditioner you use to wash your hair and really just how you take care of your hair i really would i'm really interested in knowing how others take care of their weave because getting like the silicone stuff is like eh, okay whatever but it doesn't really it doesn't last so here we go that's a should I pour a little bit of this? No. I should probably pour this first. So. I'm almost out. I definitely currently need to go get some more. But it comes with a little measuring cup. And this is pretty big, so I would say I need the whole thing. Right here. And you only need a little of this. So you need less than that. So it doesn't get too um, watery, watered down, because you want it to be thick when you apply. I'm just gonna put it in there. I don't even think I need that much. But I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use the top lid as my measuring cup. And then I'm gonna just mix as I go. Okay, that didn't do it anything so I clearly need more than that I'm gonna say three max Ooh. that might be 
be too much, but we'll see. Oops. Only I do that. Okay. And if you do put too much, you can always just put more um, bleach in there. What is this called? More powder. To make it back thick. So right now, I'm just like really trying to keep it really thick because I don't want it to seep through the lace and get on my hair. But at the same time, that's not always bad because it actually looks like really natural. Dang, this needs a lot more. Okay. Now I'm giving y'all something to look at. Jeez. So you want to get a good mix. Oh, yeah. By the way, you guys, I found my car. My thing last night, my brush, when I um, rinsed my hair, I was like, look, I'm not going to the hair store in the morning to do this, so we're we going we gonna to find it. I was so determined, and I found it. So this is probably, like, too watery. But need more even. At the same time, <clears throat> if it does see through, it still gives it like a natural look. So it's really not bad. And then you can also like go through and, you know, fix it. So here we go, you guys. I'm about to, God, let's put it on the lace. Um, I'm already brushed all my hair's back. You can use water or mousse to keep it back. I didn't use mousse, so I probably should do that, huh? Yeah. Hold on. You already know I'm coming prepared with my olive oil mousse. I'm going to show y'all. So these hairs can stay back and not get bleached. And as you can see, it's already pre-plucked, but I will um, pluck more for you guys to show you that method of how I do it and how I need to find a new method. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, so now that that's back, we're about to apply this bleach on there. It is kind of really thick, but watery, so I will. Um, I start at the top. So I may start from the back, but oh no, we're getting here and here. I don't like that. You see what I'm saying? And I ain't even do nothing. Already getting here and it. That's crazy. So you want to apply this on very lightly so it doesn't seep through. As you can see, I'm very heavy handed. If you couldn't already tell from how I brushed the blue wig in the first video, I'm so heavy handed. So that's another problem with um, my hair shredding. 
I try to find different ways to take care of it because I'm very heavy handed. I just kind of can't help it. So it's like, yeah. I think I'm like doing such a gentle job and really I'm not. It'd be going seeping right through. I just be like, whatever. Makeup is going to fix it, you guys. Everything, nothing's perfect. But it can be fixed. Because I'm pretty sure this is all seeping through. Get the rest of this access. Did the job. Finish the job. You can go all the way back, you guys, but I just feel like who's really gonna see that? I think the the top really matters the most. In the middle. get some of this excess lace because I don't know how much I'm going to be cutting off for right now so make sure I just bleach it all then I'm gonna let this bleach sit on for 30 minutes I'm going to rinse it and let this hair dry and then I'm gonna let the close the lace dry once I'm done rinsing it and you guys will see me when it's time to sew. So, stay tuned for the next video or the next part. God, I'm so annoyed. So, I definitely wish that upon myself, obviously. It turned pink, y'all. Like I knew it would, but it's okay. I'm going to um, actually color the roots jet black. And then I'm gonna work on this. Y'all gonna see the end results, okay? But then I cannot believe that happened to me. But y'all gonna see the end results. I promise it's not gonna look good. <laughs> okay, so I went in with jet black at first on this part, and you see like the spatches. I'm like, yeah, let me not do that. Um, went in with jet black at the top, so you don't see the pink anymore. Um. And I didn't want it to be jet black back here, so I'm gonna go, let me get something else. And I was in luck. French cognac to give it that brown look, that natural look. So it don't look like we good. We good. It look crazy, but it look better than that hot pink. It's looking more transparent. Yeah, I'm gonna go. All right, so yeah, when you want to, if you want to see the finished product, stay tuned. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe right now, like right now, right now. And yeah, we're gonna get into this next part of the video. Yo, what's up, Cherisees Angels? Welcome to this part of the video where we will be plucking the frontal lace, and honestly. I will just be giving some key pointers, giving you a, like a brief summary of how to do it, showing you, and then the rest is up to you, boo. So, as you all already know about the white washcloth underneath, so you can see what it is you're doing. Um, it's pretty dry right here, so I have to put some mousse on here because it did get really dry. Got my rat tail comb. Yes, rat tail. Got my edge comb. Because I preferably rather use this instead of the rat tail. So, I mean, first things first. At least I only got to see, like, literally five, not even five minutes of the master class. <laughs> I didn't even... I don't know, I had other things to do, y'all. 
which is pathetic. Cause I really wanted to watch that class. But here we go. Come to back, nice and sleek. Um, and then you can start like I mean it's already pre, pre excuse me, pre plucked. So I mean I could definitely come back and start um plucking like that. But as you already know, you're supposed to make a part. So I'm gonna make a part where because you see how it's like curvy for the edges. I'm gonna make a part where it straightens up. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So I was like, I don't know how thick I want my parts to be. But that's actually pretty good. Right there. And I'm only gonna um, give key pointers and just like a brief visual because um, I don't need y'all out there judging me on how I pluck my hair because the whole this whole process yeah it's might say beginner friendly but baby um it's very hard to maintain this relationship <laughs> okay it's very hard but not even hard just like when you're doing it all on your own it just it's overwhelming so it's like look i have to do i have to do it when i have been motivated and have the time and i don't be motivated to get this front all right but you know what i am motivated this time because i can't be out here looking crazy so yeah i'm very motivated <laughs> yeah i don't even know what i was just talking about right there just so just like disregard that all right so now that i got it um you know the lingo for me part it thank you you can either pluck going up or going down towards you or away from you um i don't know which one he said in the video which is better but i honestly think it's your preference whatever works for you works for you whatever works for your hairline works for your hairline it's not gonna all come out the same but we all know how we want it to come out so let me just show y'all something something I'm gonna plug down first just because. Um, I want this to be my main part, but how I usually plug hairs, I part throughout and plug up and down. Um, so I'm gonna let y'all watch me plug. Get you now it's getting real so I'm gonna let y'all watch me do that
annoying shift later. Angels, welcome back to the next part, hopefully the last part, the second to last part of this video. Um, we are going to be pinning everything up to make sure everything is lined accordingly. And first, I'm going to go in with my make your own wig cap, dome style wig cap mesh stretch. Pretty sure this is one size fits all. I don't know, I think I was, I would assume so. And um, the side that goes on the front is with the lines spread out. This goes in like a triangle that goes on the back. And the way I line this up, I line this up according to the lines on the head. That's how I measure it with the lines on here. So try to get it as straight as possible. Or you can line it up with the triangle being um, meeting in the middle with this middle line. This is a small cap. It's not that stretchy. Maybe I got it too far up. really be having problems with this thing it's like so annoying and that's the problem and then the head want to come off like what the fuck and then that happens the fucking struggle oh my god oh my god what the fuck i can't this is why this is why I knew I wasn't in the mood for this shit today. I just... Uh, I just... We're going to try this another fucking day. Period. Uh, sorry, guys. Okay, I'm back. I've calmed down. And we're going to try this shit again. Okay, you know what? Excuse me for my language. I'm really either going to figure out how to edit that out because I've been teaching myself everything, as you can see, or I'm going to just get better and not cussing because, but that was a real struggle moment. So just disregard the French, okay? So let's just get into it because I just, I, I, I can't even. <laughs> like yeah i always be struggling with this thing i don't know what it is i think i messed it up from when i first got it but anyhow first things first pin the lace front yes these are not the final results y'all i get lazy i'm not even gonna lie don't be lazy don't be like me be better <laughs> so when i'm done with the wig i'm gonna pluck some more because i just yeah get lazy I gotta sew this whole thing on so you'll see the final results and i promise you it's gonna be a one period all right so first things first is pinning down the lace fronts and making sure i'm sorry y'all i keep putting the pin in my mouth making sure um you have enough room right here like that you don't want to do it like this where it's flat don't want to do it like that. So you got to find a middle ground with everything in life. Compromise, compromise. All right. But I just don't even really be knowing with this lace front. Because we just got to work on it some more. That's all. So anyway, let me just pin this down. Actually, hold on. You see the cap, right? Let me pin the cap down first. That's the first step. Pin this cap down. So I take one pin in the front, 
one pin in the back, one pin on the side. I take my bigger pin and put it in the back. I'm gonna change that out to a smaller one. Smaller ones on the side. Yeah, I really do be struggling because as you can see, I got big hands. So, the fucking struggle, literally. You go get your nails done, they got small hands. You getting your hair done, they got small hands. You getting your feet done, they got small hands. It's hard working with big hands, okay? I know you see me struggling with the plucking and the way it was just like cornered. It was just all wrong, but you see me fix it at the end. And then that's where I got lazy. So, yeah. The struggle. But it's okay. We're going to fight through it. You know what I'm saying? You live to fight another day. So, hey. Let's get right into this pinning this front lace down. How do I want to pin this? Do I want to pin it like this, y'all? Or like, I think I do because this is going to be the sides. Like the sideburns. Right? Am I wrong or am I right? I feel pretty right. As well as you also want the lace front to come a little over the cap. You don't want it too far back, but you don't want it too far up either because it's not going to turn out right. Trust me, I know. Um, And when I mean like over, I mean like where the edges start. So not even this part, which maybe I might be doing that wrong. So. I don't know. Every time I'm trying to figure out something different to get better. So, you know, work with me, work with me. That's all you can do. So I'm gonna bring it up a little over and then we'll go to the ends of the actual track. Yeah, I'm gonna pin it like this, y'all. Make sure it's even though. That was as good as it was going to get. I'm not trying to be lazy, but y'all. Y'all see this long process? Eric and Tay, I don't think he doing that. <laughs> I think he gets the wig, like, completely done. And all you got to do is pluck and then install. I feel like if that's all I had to do, I would be so good. I would have, I would just be so good, but that's not all I have to do. I have to do the whole fucking nine yards. So, ugh, it'd be annoying. No, it's not even annoying. It just be, it'd be time consuming. It's time consuming and overwhelming sometimes. But the results in the end be worth it. It really do. So, it just be like, yeah. Beauty is pain. They ain't never lied about that. They ain't never lied. For real. It's pain. It's very painful. Uh-oh. That's what we're not doing. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right. This is how I'm pinning it in. I don't care. Y'all gonna deal with it. Deal with it. Comment down below what you think. Let me know. I might. I might respond. Some smart aleck or something funny. Who knows? No, I'm kidding. Um, all right, let me brush put this together. Yo. Today is not my day, y'all. It's a, it's a real fucking struggle today. Like, what the fuck? It's really starting to piss me off. Because it's happening, like, on camera. And that's not cool. Really starting to piss me off. Like for real, for real. And I'm like trying to work through my anger issues. So I need this to like act right. For real, for real. Because I just got off work, y'all. So I think that's really what it is. I just got off work and I'm already like overwhelmed. But at the same time, I cannot be at work looking on a hot mess. I need my hair. I need this wig done. <laughs> I need this wig done. Because I'm so sick of this. Bris I'm so sick of the hair. Y'all already know the backstory. I'm sick of it. I don't like it. It's so annoying. 
Oh my god, I just sound like a, a, a bratzilla right now, huh? It's okay, I'm a brat. But a walking angel. I'm gonna be looking like a walking angel at the end of this. So right now you're getting you're getting the brat out of me, okay? Because just ugh. you see why. <laughs> it's just it's giving, it's giving brat, and that's what you're getting. All right, now that that's looking like that, like what the fuck? That's super annoying. This ain't even pinned down. What the fuck is going on? Excuse me, I'm sorry. Yo, this is not okay. Oh, I probably look like, I do not know what I'm doing. But if you go follow my Instagram page, it's Sierra Leon. Uh, my business page. You can see more examples of um, some wigs I've made. And I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, no, I don't. I clearly don't. What the fuck? I definitely don't know what I'm doing. But I'm still going to do it. <laughs> anyway. Oh my god, what kind of pen was I, what was I doing, y'all? I'm showing y'all my back, because I'm just like, I'm about to delete this whole fucking segment. Yeah. What the fuck was I doing? It's like, I think I just be, when I be switching from closure wigs to, to lace frontals, the whole vibe change. I be forgetting how much more work going to the front lace. Because closure wigs are just easier, honestly. Maintenance and to make. Like, they're just easier to deal with. Okay, whatever. Just leave it like this. Because if you don't want to pin up, it's because I need to blow dry. Blow dry it out. Honestly, that's really what the problem is. But, um, <clears throat> I ain't worried about that. So, the next thing is, this is over with. <laughs> 24 hours later. What's up, Cherises Angels? What's the deal? Welcome back to another part of this video where I will be showing you how to sew down the lace frontal and the same sewing method I'm using, I'm going to be using um, to sew down the bundles. So I'm going to start from the back with the um, 18 inch, 16 inch, and then it's just going to fill in with the lace closure. So let me show you. I've already threaded my needles, so my knot at the end. I don't mind my nails, they will be getting done tomorrow. So let's just go ahead and put it in there. Don't mind my background, because I don't know what's going on. Sorry, y'all. Put it in there. See? That's why you need a big knot. I tie it like three, four times because I don't want my thread coming out. All right. So, you know, I go from under and through, loop, pull, and that's it. Boom. And in the past, I've always um, kept it really close together, which uh, takes longer and I use more threads. So now I'm learning to spread it out evenly um, so I can finish faster and yeah it's just easier that way I so different from your average hairstylist you guys everything I learned I learned on YouTube I'm not gonna lie I can't remember the name oh see that makes me want to go under 
I mean over and under instead of under and over. I think I might go, um, yep. I'm going over and under because I don't want to mess up the hair. So yeah, I'm gonna go this way, stand on this side. Yeah, so that way I don't mess up the hair and pull the hair through the threads. So I'm gonna go over under instead of under and over. And some girls like wrap it around. I don't know how to do that. I mean, I'm sure if I was show one time, I'd be like, oh, okay, wow. That's all it took. But I go through the thread. I don't like how it's taking the hair. I hate that. Yeah, I don't know how they like wrap that. Oh, I guess I just did, huh? Oh wow, that's how they do that. See, just teach yourself. Learn something new every day. And I don't even know if that was right, but it kind of felt like it. <laughs> oh look, I'm doing something different. Now that's probably gonna keep it tight. Oh no, it ain't. I don't like that. You see how it's lifting when I do that? That's not lifting. Okay, I'm not tying it around. Cause that's, that's not working for me. Just going through, just like that. And then pull it through. I hold on to the string so it doesn't get knotty. Take my pin out the middle. I couldn't take these out, but not yet. Just because it's a little mess in my way. So this is like where it gets tricky, like with me having big hands. But I mean, I, the more I do it, the easier it gets. So if it's hard for you in the beginning, just know the more you practice, the better you get. You know what I'm saying? Because why? Practice makes perfect. And you guys were taught that in elementary school in gym class, whatever, in art. You just have to keep practicing to be better. And if you feel like it's not coming out right, try to figure out why. Try to figure out what method you're doing wrong and which method is right. And it's not really any wrong way to do it. It's just whatever works for you. But there's the right way. So, say there's no wrong way to do it to make you feel better. <laughs> but there is the right way. And you just have to do your research, guys. So we're coming to the end of this lace front on the other side. And what I do towards the end, I knot it. Make sure it's closed in and it doesn't come out. I take this pin out. So right now I'm coming to the end. I'm gonna knot the end. Hold on. Let's 
This is why I be struggling trying to get the needle in it first. So now I'm going to cut it and then tie a knot. A couple knots to make sure it doesn't come on loose. I'm done. My knots. Nuts. Three nuts. Yeah, I'll be make I'll be making this so tight. Like I don't want it to rip through, but I don't want it to come on loose. Not my frontal. So that was like six nuts. Let's do one more for a lucky seven number. If I can get it. All right. And then I cut. And boom. Just like that. I have a clean. A clean. Uh, sewing. Whatever I'm trying to say. It's clean cut and period. Done. So now I'm going to let you guys just uh, sit back and watch me put in the bundles. And then we're going we're gonna to go from there. So see you in the next clip. Stay tuned. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Okay, so I ain't even on cap. I've never put the white lines when I make my wigs. I just do it. And I probably should put the white lines. The only problem is these are really close. And that's but this is better than usual, trust me. So I ran out of my um, well, I didn't run out of my white pencil. I just didn't have a sharpener, so I had to use this NYX white eyeliner. Um, just, I'll let you guys watch the rest as I go to the top. I already did a lot, as you can see. Okay, so I'm about to follow the white lines to sew the tracks in the bundles, the bundles, the bundles, the bundles. <laughs> do I have one already? I think I can already. That's not the one I want. Okay, let me just pin it. And then thread my needle. One right there, one in the middle, one on the side. Come on, this out. Oh, still 
I don't know what to do. I should sit there though anyway. I'm gonna repair one more. Pin another one. She hung it and came out of place. Yeah, there we go. We'll be right back.
Okay, you guys, we're finally at the end of the video with our beginner friendly how to make a wig step by step. And I just want to say, I think I did pretty good. Cut off the excess cap, left a little extra so it doesn't come unloosened. Sewed on my band. Now all I have to do is trim and layer and style. So if you are wanting to see the install of this wig, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Real Love you. Good, real good in every who pull up to your nigga. Honey, looking real pretty. Pull up to your nigga city. Looking real pretty. Looking real pretty. Looking real pretty. Spoil me. Now he come back. Ass getting fat. I know he want it back. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, now. Cut. Cut it. <laughs> As you can see, I am a walking angel, but a spoiled brat. So, subscribe to my channel if you want to join the pack. <laughs> Nah, but for real. See you in the next video. Much love. Cheers.